Okay, we've got a little sample panning area here. We're taking samples. We're just finishing up for the day, so we took a bunch of bags. We labeled them with feet numbers. Let me just show you where we're taking these samples from. Once again, we are trying to find a pocket. Chasing up the hillside. Following up between two old mines. That spot had a plume of iron. Red clay, which this mountain doesn't produce unless you're in the mineralization area. And we found some altered quartzy kind of stuff. This is the trench we cut. We put little flags. We took our samples at first three feet. And here we feel like we're getting a much more interesting vein type material. The host rock argillite has been very altered and silicified. So, some of it looks quite mineralized too. So, but our panning water appears all mucked up now. So, and we got some samples going. See all that red soil we moved? And uh, hope we get some gold out of there. And the pockets around here are pretty filthy rich, so we can always get always hope for good luck here. So this is old fashioned, old school mining and sampling. But the rocks are pretty interesting. Let's see if I can show this to you real quickly before my batteries die. I'm getting some interesting rocks. This is some of that, probably start off as argillite, but that's epidote there, which is a sign of maybe not mineralization, but metamorphosis of the argillite. And that's very silicified there. Also manganese dendrites. This piece is quite interesting. There's other parts of the mountain which have ore kind of like this. And let's see, do we got the red quartz here? Here's some of the red quartz stuff we were pulling out. Also kind of interesting, so to be continued folks. Keep your fingers crossed.